everybody. I thought I would show you this new Tunisian stitch that I came across. Um, I think it looks pretty cool. I used cotton yarn and a size G hook. And if you notice, it kind of looks like a waffle. You can see the stretches here. I don't remember doing this before. It looks familiar. Maybe I've seen it with somebody else. Yes, I know I have tails. Tails are a last resort for me. I do not like sewing them in. But anyway, I, I finished this up last night, made a little washcloth using the stitch, and I started another one so that I can show you how you can get this look on a Tunisian pattern if you would like to try it. Now, if it appears I'm a little awkward at this, I am, because I am not real good at Tunisian. <laughs> I mean, I'm good at Tunisian, but I'm still a little slow at it. Um, if you notice, I've done a few rows on this one already. In my opinion, this ball of yarn has way too much white in it. But anyway, the way you get this look, normally with Tunisian crochet, you go under the loop, like this right here. Well, this first stitch is a little awkward for me. Instead of going to the loop, you go to the back loop of the return chain. The first one for me is a little tough. But after that, they seem to get easier. Just follow your chain and those little back loops, they just kind of stick up all the way across. Just go into that back loop of your return chain. Back loop of your return chain. I think the further along I go, the easier it gets to go in the back loop. But once you get all the way across in the back loops of your return chain then you continue your return chain like normal I um, go through one and then two 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 all the way back to the end and so when you get back to this one don't skip this first stitch there are several times when I first started doing this I skipped this stitch and went to the next stitch but you really need that first stitch right there just it looks like it's too close but um, that's your first stitch right there. So, I don't know what this stitch is called, and I found it online, and it's really simple, even though it looked pretty difficult. So, give it a try, and enjoy!